Wow, it is bright. Let's skedaddle. Hello guys, so I'm currently walking into LA's largest thrift store, St. Vincent. My mom's here. <laughs> I'm in LA for the week, I'm just visiting my family, running some errands here, going to the dentist, all that. This is apparently the largest thrift store in LA, and I didn't know that, because we've been going here like ever since I was a kid. So today I'm gonna vlog it, and I'm gonna find some good things hopefully, and I'll show you what I get. I think this is so cute. Look at this. <laughs> All right, so far, this is very overwhelming. There's a lot of people. And there's so many aisles here. And since I've last been here, they really like reorganized the place and move things around. So I'm kind of lost right now. But I'm currently looking at sweaters and jackets. I found a few. Um, I found a few things that look similar to what I already have, but I don't know. I don't know if it's different enough to keep. But I found this. Okay, I found this blazer. Neutral tones are in right now. This is size medium, but I think like a bigger-ish fit might be cool, so I'm gonna try that on. Um, I don't know if there's fitting rooms. Last time I came, there wasn't, so I might have to just try it on for the camera. Something really catches my eye, though. Mm, I like these dad shoes, but they're never my size. This looks humongous. I'm size five, I'm the smallest size. Looking at the men's shirts, and they have a ton of Apple shirts for some reason. I found this, I can't figure out if I like it. It's really interesting and it's like definitely bright for my style because I'm not a very colorful person. But I think it looks kind of cool. I don't know, still deciding. So we just tried out some things in the fitting room and I was looking at the rack right, at, right outside the fitting room. Ooh. Which I highly recommend you do because they always, I don't know, I feel like the stuff people pull out might be good stuff. So I found these mom jeans, they fit perfectly. I'm really excited, that was the last thing I got. Um, we didn't get as much stuff as I thought I was gonna get, but it's probably good because I only have a suitcase to bring home that I have to pack. Um, but good, so got some good things and we're definitely gonna do a haul. Ugh, probably not tonight, but within the next few days I'm gonna film the video and show you guys. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted in there, um, but woo, got a whole bag of stuff. How'd you do, Mom? I got a lamp. <laughs> so I decided we're gonna do thrift store number two. I'm currently basically wearing pajamas, but whatever. This is what I wear to the thrift store with my mom again. There's a plane, so I might be loud. Um, we are gonna get parking in the parking lot, but apparently Goodwill is lit right now, so. I don't know how this is gonna go in terms of filming inside, but I'll try. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Should show them the parking lot. vegan club shirt which is hilarious and then this is really cute but it's not gonna fit my boyfriend it's too small from what I'm noticing about this Goodwill is they don't really sort by size so it's kind of frustrating um, but I found this I'm really sad that this isn't my size this blazer would have been so cute mom how's it going <laughs> hi um, don't worry mom I'm covering you I found these pants they're BCBG, and I don't, they're like not usually my style. I actually found them here in the dressing room, but they they fit perfectly, so I might get them. Okay, my mom's over there again, so I gotta film over here. I found these, and they actually fit perfectly, but I, I don't know, I'm not a fan of these tear things. I don't know. I'm sad, because these fit like a glove. All right, so I am actually back in Vancouver, and Got all the stuff with me. I wasn't able to do the thrift haul in LA, but no worries, we're gonna do it now. I'm gonna do a try on for you guys, show you everything I got, 
end, I remembered to take photos of all the prices of everything I got, so if you guys want to know more about that stuff, it's going to be included. I'll, I guess I'll sort it by thrift store that I went to. So as you, you guys saw, I went to St. Vincent's, which, which is the largest, apparently it's the largest thrift store in Los Angeles. And I've actually been going there since I was a kid and I didn't know it was the largest. I thought it was just like a big thrift store and it was always fun to go to. But my mom and I had gone for the first time in a while and they had reorganized the place. It was much easier to get around. It was easier to shop and they used to not have a, um, a fitting room and now they do so that was a plus. And the prices were awesome so let me grab everything. So I was really overwhelmed in the store. I'm buttoning the shirt right now so I'm going to talk. Um, I was really overwhelmed because they had the tops organized by style but there were so many different categories of things i think there were like maybe 10 to maybe 10 aisles of women's tops alone um so i like didn't know where to start and it took me a while kind of like circling for a bit trying to figure out what my game plan was and basically i knew that i wanted more tops and jackets so that's basically what i was looking for the whole time um i knew i didn't really need any pants but that was something that i was going to tackle at the end because that's just like something additional to look at if I had time but it was mostly my goal was to get more tops um, okay so the first is this button up um, I guess it's like a tank top I'm not sure what these are called honestly uh, but it's a collared a collared shirt it has buttons going down and the brand is a new day all right so this shirt this shirt was $3.99 and so they had a, a list of different tags that were on sale, different tag colors, um, but everything that I picked up was a green tag and from what I understand, I actually talked to someone at Goodwill about this, all of the tags are from a specific time period so pretend something comes in like the first week of February or I don't know how many weeks each tag lasts but um, the clothing of that time period will be a purple tag and then um, like a month or two later they'll have a sale on all purple tags which is all the inventory that came during a certain time period so that's why um, sometimes it's harder to find because when that comes in like that's what sells first because that's what's on the, the thrift store floor um so i don't know it was i just never knew that if you didn't know but hopefully i explained that correctly so this is more of like a spring summer top. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to wear it now. I mean, I could if I wore a jacket, um, but I really like the shirt because you can wear it as is or you can tie it up and wear it as a sort of crop top and you can even tuck it in. So there's a lot of different ways to wear this and I'm probably gonna just wear this with jeans. Um, I'm trying to branch out and wear skirts, but I'm also not a huge skirt person. So we'll see how that goes. All right, the second top I got is actually a wrap around tee um, and it is a crop top and does it have a button on the top no it doesn't um, there's some tops like this that clasp like so you can cover your your goodies but this one doesn't I actually wore this to a bridal shower this past weekend and it had really good coverage um, besides when I sat down I had to like keep my shoulders back um, so it wouldn't open up but I feel like this could be really casual or you can dress it up and it's from Target size extra small fit me perfectly and the price let's see uh the price of this was also $3.99 so considering it's from target which it probably i don't know i assume if at target probably be like 10 to 12 dollars so that's a good deal on that and i was also looking for lighter colors um i have a lot of black and dark clothing so branching out to colorful shirts and all that is one of my goals of the year all right so let's see how much this was. This was $5.99. So this top, I was debating on whether or not I should get it because of the price. It was $5.99, which is, I mean, it's not expensive. But for some of the things I was finding, it was like on the more expensive end. And it's a bright red shirt, which is not usually my um, forte, I guess. As I just mentioned, I just like dark neutral colors. If you can see this. So it's red and then it has these like line designs and I don't know what shape that is. I don't know if that's like, yeah, I don't really think it's anything. Maybe it's like Birds of Paradise-esque. I'm not entirely sure. But it has some geometric prints on it 
and it's pretty loud um, but once I tried it on it fit me perfectly and actually in the fitting room I was wearing um, a high-waisted jeans so I tucked it in and it looked really nice and I ended up wearing this um, to a photo shoot I did with one of my cousins and it looked really nice in the photos and I think red is a color that I should start wearing I don't really have a lot of red um, but I really like this top and I'm really glad that I got it so this top is super random and it's humongous on me it's a size large I usually wear like an extra small to small um, but it's just a shirt that says Australia and I don't know, I was initially drawn to this, honestly, if you watch uh, Alex, I don't know if it's Alexis Sunshine 83, that's her name on um, YouTube. I'll link her down below. She's one of the reasons why I started doing this. But she gets a lot of oversized t-shirts, folds up the sleeves, and then tucks it into her shirt. And I really like the way it looked on her. And we have like similar body type, so I thought that I would try it out. And I love how this looked, and I love the color of it. And... It was only $1.99, so I was just like, I'm going to get it, and if I don't end up wearing this a ton, it's a, it makes a really good sleeping shirt. I love wearing big shirts at night around the house, so I guess it's a win-win. So my next top is this zip-up crop top, and you can zip it up top like so, but I like wearing it open. I actually wore this the day after I got it. And I like that it is, um, it, it's like hemmed at the bottom, so it's not a DIY crop top. And it doesn't have the fringed like edging on it, which isn't bad, but I was just looking for a top that was intended to be a crop top. This was uh, $4.99, so it wasn't terrible. Again, it was like on the more expensive end at St. Vincent in terms of some of the things that you can get there. But I think this is a good basic, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot. Next up is some denim. And these jeans, I'll actually unfold it so I can show you the full bottom. I found these jeans right when I got out of the fitting room. So there was these two girls that were waiting for the fitting room while my mom and I were. And I saw some of the stuff they had in their cart. And I was like, ooh, I like that, I like that. Like I was just like looking at it and, um, and admiring their thrift finds. And when I got out of the, the fitting room, they had left a bunch of stuff on the rack that they weren't getting, so I just dove in and I actually found these jeans there. And that's something that I recommend you do if you, if you can. Um, I like looking at clothes that other people have already tried on because sometimes they have the same style as me um, and I find a lot of stuff there. They kind of like sift through it for you. So these, um, the brand is Faded Glory. I don't know what brand this is, I don't, I don't know. But they are high-waisted, light blue jeans, and they are kind of straight leg. They're not skinny, and I, I might get these fitted, but I'm not entirely sure. They fit my waist and my butt perfectly, but my legs, it's a little loose. They're straight leg, um, and then they just have regular bottoms, which I might fringe. I'm trying to figure out. These, these are actually kids. These are kids size 16. Um, I wear a size 25 in jeans, so... If you are similar size, I suggest you look at the kids section because you can find a bunch of things there. And these were $4.99, so I don't know. I saw the price and they fit They fit great, so it's like, you know what? They're pretty much mom jeans and I love mom jeans, so why not? All right. So, okay. What is this? How much is this baby? 5 dollars So the next thing I found were these overalls. And I actually randomly found these. I was in the dresses section looking. I was, <laughs> there's another video idea coming, but basically I was looking for a dress that I saw in Friends. It's a black dress with buttons going down. I was like, maybe I could find something like that at the thrift store. So that's, that's initially what I was looking for. Um, but in the dresses section, I found some overalls. And there are these blue overalls from World Workers High Back Big John, it says on the back. I don't know what that means. But they already have some fringed bottoms. And I can't tell if these were... They were probably cut by the person who previously owned these. I really like how they look in the back. And they fit. They actually fit really well. I got these with the intention of listing them on Poshmark. But now I can't figure out if I should. Um, I'll let you guys know if I do. My username is right here, JG Briones, and post on Poshmark relatively often. Um, but the reason I was going to list these is because I already have a pair of overalls that I thrifted, but it's a different, it's 
a slightly lighter shade of denim. So I'm trying to figure out which one is better or which one like I prefer. I don't need two pairs of overalls, honestly, and I don't wear them often enough to keep both of them. So I'll definitely be listing one of them on Poshmark. Um, so stay tuned for that. And oh, these were $5.99. So next up is a beige blazer and I was I was initially drawn to this because I was, I'm looking for a beige coat, a long coat, um, but I wasn't able to find any in my size. They're all humongous and so I came across this blazer, I'm trying to like, I should have this on a hanger but I don't. It doesn't have any shoulder pads and I can't really show you. Okay, here is the blazer. No shoulder pads, it has pockets, and it's lined, but it is fairly thin. The brand is Soho Apparel Limited, and it's actually size medium. So I wasn't sure about this initially because it's a little big on me, but once I folded up the sleeves and I, I tried it on with some jeans in the fitting room, I actually wore this with a bridal shower with that white wrap top, um, but it looked really nice. I love the loose fit, and I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it was a good color on me. These This was, let me check. This is $4.99, which is great for a blazer. If you go to a store and get a blazer, they can be fairly expensive, so I was happy about that. And then I got another blazer in this orange color. This is initially from Forever 21. And I don't know if any of you follow Nikki from Nikki and Gabby. Um, I randomly found her sometime last year, um, but I really like her aesthetic on Instagram with like her blue and orange. And she wears this color a lot, if you guys can see it. Sorry, the lighting is weird. Um, so that's, when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna try that on because I love that color. And I'm actually wearing a very similar color right now, almost identical. So um, this fit perfectly, and it definitely is a pop of color, which I need in my wardrobe. It has pockets, and this was, I think this was the most expensive thing of the haul. This was $7.99, and that was something that I was like, I don't know if I should get it um, because of the price, but at the same time, like I was saying earlier, it's a blazer, and for a blazer, that's a steal, and it fit me well, so. Definitely gonna be putting that to use probably in a date night soon. So now, moving on to Goodwill. Um, the Goodwill by my parents' house is not even five minutes away. Um, it's probably a mile or a little less than a mile away, and I had finished work up one day a little early and my mom was off of work so I was like do you want to go thrifting and my mom loves thrifting she's the reason why I love thrifting too so we went to the thrift store and the only problem with this Goodwill is it's not like compared to the ones here in Vancouver um, the ones in Vancouver are organized by style by color and by size so it's so easy to shop there but this Goodwill is only organized by um, style and color in some areas so it was kind of hard to shop because you literally have to go through everything to find your size and it kind of took a long time but at the same time like I love doing it so it really wasn't a huge problem um, but I was able to find quite a bit and I'm really excited about one particular item that I'll show you but let me grab them so this first item was very random and I'm actually I actually got it with the intention of sharing it with my boyfriend because I feel like this would look good on him. Uh, I don't know what drew my eye to this, but it's a black graphic t-shirt and it's just American apparel on it. It's wrinkly because I just wore it yesterday, but it's basically a Grim Reaper and coming out of his outfit, I don't know what it's called, um, are flowers. I don't know. I just was like, that's a really cool shirt, and I think it would look really nice, so I got it. Uh, let me pull up the pricing right now. So this was $5.99, and compared to the pricing at St. Vincent's, like, I don't know, I just felt like it was a little expensive for a thrift store, so I made sure that I loved it. It's size medium, so it's a little oversized, which is fine, because I like oversized clothes. Um, but yeah, I like this shirt. All right, next up is this flowy tank. It's from H&M originally. Let me try to open this up for you. And it's, um, it's very, oh my gosh, <laughs> very open on the sides. It goes down to maybe like the bottom of my ribs. 
and it's actually a size large but i really like how it fits loosely on me and i could wear like a bralette or something underneath this is more like a casual basic t-shirt and i really like striped things so i was like why not so goodwill has sale tags every week and like i was talking about earlier the colors um they change the colors all the time so this was a purple tag which was from february and all the purple tags were on sale when we went and this was originally $3.99 um basically four dollars but it was 50 percent off so i got this for two bucks and i wasn't sure about it but then once i found out it was two dollars i was like okay i'm gonna get it and it looks really nice so this was also a purple tag top and it was also two dollars this is an ann taylor tank top um it was extra small and it has a v-neck and it's cotton i just really love the feel and the fit of the shirt and it looks really really nice tucked into a pair of jeans i feel like it's a really good basic staple and i could definitely dress this up or wear it casually and it just fit really well um yeah that's all i gotta say about that one so this top i already took off the tag i should have taken a photo of it the brand is biton biton b-i-t-o-n uh it looks it's a cropped linen top and i feel like this was originally part of a two-piece set kind of looks like it and it has the material of like a two-piece set but it originally had a tag on it that said 75 dollars which is crazy so this was 3.99 and i don't know i really don't have much to say about this this guy right here but i just really love how it fit i love crop tops as you will soon learn so this looks really good with jeans and i feel like I can I can dress it up. I can actually wear this like over a dress. I can wear it with a skirt, even with some shorts in the summer. Very versatile and it's black, so you know it's going to be a winner. So, I was in the fitting room with my mom and it was it was actually insane in there. I've never seen a Goodwill fitting room like that. I guess just it was just really busy there, so maybe there's they didn't have time to check the fitting room, but basically it looked like four or five people before me just like left all their stuff. So it was to the point where I had to be careful because I didn't know, I didn't want to put my stuff down and like get it confused with like other piles that were in there. Almost all of the hangers were taken and we were just like, what is going on? And like to top it all off, I shared the room with my mom, but it's all right, it worked out because I found a few things in the fitting room um, that I liked. So what initially caught my eye were these pants. They are flowy and they have this, on the bottom if you can see that um, but these are from BCBG and the size it's size small and they're just some flowy pants that I really I think are super cozy super cute I love the color of it you can see they're a brown and beige and then they also have little tints of blue in it and this pairs really well with a black tank top uh, actually one of the ones I got looks really great with it but yeah I found this in the fitting room and it was a score and there are actually two more things that I found in the fitting room. First thing is, I actually got this for my boyfriend. And I don't know if these are called varsity sweaters, varsity jackets. They remind me of like school uh, letterman jackets. But basically, it's one of these with these arms. Oh, I forgot to tell you, those pants. Let me tell you the price. Ahead of myself. Those were $6.99. It's a jacket with a hood, and it's actually originally from Forever 21. I wasn't sure about this because it's like a Forever 21 jacket, and I think it was $10. Yeah, $10. This is the most expensive um, item of my haul, but I thought it would look really good on my boyfriend, and he liked it, so I got it for him. And I just, I didn't try it on at first. It's size medium, and I was like, I'm, I didn't think about trying it on because it was for him. But when I brought it home, I tried it on, and it actually fits me pretty well so i'm scared that's gonna be too small on him he actually hasn't tried it on yet but i'm crossing my fingers that it'll work because um it's not really it's like a little too big on me to the point where i probably wouldn't wear it but it seemed like it would be small on him so we're gonna see um but yeah it's a good basic jacket it actually has pockets which is nice and it's um more so of a sweater actually than a jacket because the whole thing is um, pretty thin and pretty like soft cotton material so it's not something you wear in the cold but it's something that you can layer or just like wear in the summer please fit is it small a little bit yeah it's too small <laughs> Aww. sad 
I'll have to lose some weight. It looks short on your I'm arms. too jacked. <laughs> Turns out this is a women's jacket. I didn't even realize with the buttons. Buttons are on the other side. So, well, does any woman want this? <laughs> any women want does this? Does any women want this? You can have it. I guess I'll put it on Poshmark. I don't know. All right. Next up, I found this in the fitting room as well. And I'm actually, this one I'm 100% going to list on Poshmark because it is not my size at all. But I found these Levi's 501 jeans. They're um, a 2930. And they're in excellent condition. They have, I can't tell if this is like the wash or they have a little wearing. They're like a charcoal gray. But there's no damages on it at all. And it's more of like a straight leg fit. But I don't know. I just saw these. I was like, dude, score. Like, these are great. I wish they were my size. I was hoping that they were because 501s fit amazing. But these are not. But if you're interested in these jeans, I will have them on my Poshmark. Probably when... Oh, I'll have them on my Poshmark when this video comes out. So if you're interested, hit your girl up. So this tank was also $3.99. And the brand, I think, let's... Paper Moon. If you know what that is, I have no idea. But I really liked the front. The The reason it caught my eye was the front detail, um, like the open slit with the strings on it. It is just a basic tank top, very casual and very flowy. These actually look really nice with the pants that um, I got, the BCBG pants. Uh, I don't know, nothing really too special about this, but I feel like something like this is always a good staple. It'll look good, good with jeans, with loose pants. Um, you can, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, but yeah, I really like that tank. I think that that concludes my thrift haul. I ended up not getting any home items because I was traveling and I had limited space in my suitcase. So I initially went with space in order to be able to do this um, and to be able to take some stuff home because I always end up taking stuff home from my mom or someone from my family. They're great. Um, but after packing my bag, it was 54 pounds. I had to get rid of a bunch of stuff and give it to my parents. Um, I had some beauty stuff that I ended up giving them because this is precious cargo and I was not going to give this up. So um, it was worth it, I think. <laughs> I'm really happy with what I got. And I love the thrift stores in LA. I, I definitely do see a difference between the types of items that are there versus here. Um, I haven't been to that many thrift stores here in like the Portland, Vancouver area, but here it's very much more organized and um, I feel like it's easier to navigate through the thrift stores. In LA, it's kind of a shit show. Um, I don't know if more people go, but it's kind of crazy there. But yeah, there's definitely, um, definitely a difference in terms of like the things that I find there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... I don't know, I'm happy with what I got and I definitely want to thrift every time I travel to a new city. I don't want to go as crazy as this. The only reason why I did this was because I had a free checked bag and it was a large suitcase so I just kind of went crazy. Um, but the next time I travel I'm definitely going to go thrifting. The next place I'm going I believe is New Jersey. Uh, I might go to LA before that but I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely going to New Jersey. So when I do, I will make sure to make time to go to a thrift store, a local thrift store by my boyfriend's parents' house and show you guys what I get there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and my talking and ranting and whatever. Uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. Um, join the club here. I This is my new YouTube channel and it's been fun to do. So if you guys have any feedback, let me know. If you have any video requests, let me know and I will see you soon. Bye.